hey, if you guys ever get hurt, seriously injured, cut off a finger, or even die, don't come to me, because I don't care. Do what you want, drive fast, live fast, or don't crash. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Basically what we're doing is we're going to take a 48 by 96 inch piece of plywood. Um, I know it's expensive right now, but it's got to do what you got to do, you know. Uh, but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out to the shape of the uh, van. Um, I'm doing mine in a 2017 Ford Transit van. Um, and basically this is how everything's going to look. Um, the black Sharpie is going to be the actual piece of plywood itself. We're just gonna call this pillar A and pillar B. Um, we're gonna kind of make a template to follow this edge right here. What I did was I used like a uh, paper transfer tape, laid it down, um, traced out the uh, edge of the um, van, or the set, this side of the van, and basically measured from point A, we'll call it pillar A, to pillar B. Um, right in the middle, I guess you just call this like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, but we'll call it, uh, that and that. And then I took a measurement from this inside of the wheel well to this side of the wheel well, and I got some measurements. I'm not going to tell you those measurements because I don't know how accurate I was. But I then took those measurements, um, drew them on the plywood itself. Um, took our template that we made from the um, first side of the van, flipped that over and lined it up with those marks, those measurements that I took for from uh, pillar A to B to, um, you know, whatever we call that one thing to the other side and then from the wheel well to the other wheel well. So, but it worked out great. So the length of the board in your van is going to be 48 inches. And then you're going to use a factory edge and a factory edge there. Um, yeah, when you get to it, um, I want to try to simplify it for you guys. Um, so it's not, uh, so you're not lost like I am most of the time. I just laid down some like plastic transfer paper or tra transfer paper and uh, traced out kind of where, what I want the shape of the uh, plywood to be. Now I'm gonna measure across from uh, there to there, and I should be able to get a pretty nice shape uh, to cut the plywood to and uh, put it in here so it'll slide around. So yeah, we need it too. What do you got there? Measure. Um, come in here. Lay 
use first. Should be right across from each other. So it's 64 and a half. 64 and a half. Take our template that we made. Lay that boy on there. Yeah, I would. You're going to fight it. At least. Dad, you're in the way of my camera. Sorry. Can you redo that? You can edit that out. <laughs> okay. This job is sponsored by Budweiser. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> shaved off so I can put my outdoor carpet on there and still fit should still fit in there um, so right now we got our wheel chalk that we're putting in the van um, basically we're putting it all the way to the edge because I'm fucked up <laughs> and, uh, and um, didn't really measure the motorcycle with the plywood so we're, we're just maxing it out right now but um we're gonna drill some holes in here right here because we got our spots marked out and we're gonna take these pins this might not work i don't know but i think it will Let's take these pins, let it go up through here. And then let's your, take... your penis clips? Huh? The penis clips? No, these are different. Okay, so these are the uh, penis pins that Maddie was referring to. They're actually clevis pins. Right here, this is what we used. These are the hairpin cotter pins that we're using. A hairpin cotter? They all got weird names. These are, yeah, penis pins. <laughs> And, yep, hairpin cotter pins. That's what we're gonna be using today. So and this is pins and a hairpin. Yeah, and then this these are just gonna stick up through here, and hopefully the the tire doesn't catch them, but we'll see. So I got everything done. 
bike fits in here great in a sh nice shape test and i said that's not going anywhere so that's that's what i gotta do um but as you can tell um, i got the floor in i got the i got it all carpeted i just use outdoor carpet it's like 17 bucks for a roll um the only issue that i have with it right now is that it kind of lifts up in the back um if you put like a lot of pressure on it maybe i don't know but so i was gonna put something under here right there to kind of pu push the back down a little bit and then right here um there's a uh insert for a d-ring i can't get the screw in here so i'm gonna have to cut this back a little bit more pins are good are those the penis pins yeah those are the penis pins that maddie was talking about and we're gonna put another wheel chalk like right in here so we can get another bike in here um hopefully they'll hopefully it'll fit i don't know might have to offset them a little bit but other than that it's ready to go i've been hauling this thing around just like this for a handful of miles you guys should do it by the way um this was not my idea i did not come up with this um my uncle was telling me how to do it and i just did it so um not my idea super easy to do um and it save you a lot of money i think i probably have like oh plywood's really expensive right now so i got like 60 dollars on the piece of plywood 17 bucks on the outdoor carpet um seven dollars into the um penis pins and powder whatever you call them this wheel chalk was 37 dollars at harbor freight and then i just had um I just got these at Home Depot. They're the soft um, straps for ratchet straps. Husky brand for 97 cents. Can't beat that. Um, I know they sell like just bolted in kits for like 400 bucks. I mean, this is the exact same thing. Slap it on it.